Hey everybody, it's Erin here today, and I have a ton of these leftover um, containers. These are the metal containers that I get from Christmas. This one happens to be kind of a large size one, and so we are going to turn this into a trash can that I'm going to keep in my space, but it's going to be mine. So it's not just some cheesy little trash can, it's a great way to upcycle some of those popcorn tins that you might get. So you can get these tins in all different sizes. I picked one that would be a good fit for a trash can and I just kind of rest it upright and it's kind of a strange thing, but you can just see what I'm doing. And here I have a white gesso. So this is gonna give everything a tooth for the paint I'm gonna to use to stick to. It's a white, you could go with a black. I think white is good. Basically, I'm just gonna cover, I'll show you again. I'm gonna cover the trash can with the gesso going all the way around, trying to cover up as much as I can. It's okay if a little bit seeps through. I might end up having to do a couple of coats and I'm okay with the brush strokes too. I think it's all adding to just the vibe and the feel of it. And then it's gonna dry before you add your next layer. So that's what I'm gonna do. Couple of coats of gesso, couple of drying time between them and then we will add the funness after. Okay, so you can tell this is completely white now. I've added two coats of the gesso, and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a couple layers of paint. So I have two different colors of my Crafters Workshop Heavy Body Paint that I'm gonna to blend together to make kind of a teal color. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of the green, and I just have, this is an old kitty dish. <laughs> A little bit of the green, I can always re-blend more. It's not gonna be a perfect match, but that's okay. And then a lot of the blue. And for this, I am gonna be using a foam brush to make sure that it is nice and blended. So I'm just gonna blend up my paint here and get a pretty, really pretty color. How gorgeous that is. So I've made quite a bit of my paint and now I'm gonna go in and start painting up my tin. Look how gorgeous that color is, I love it beautiful teal and it because I've added a really good amount of the primer of the gesso to back I only am going to need to do one coat all right so it's all been painted now it just needs to dry and then I'll be ready to put our stenciling on I did it. Okay, so it's all painted and it's so pretty and it is dried. I only had a couple of spots I had to go through and actually kind of fix up a tiny, tiny bit because it was just not as good a coverage as I wanted to. So now it's time to do the stencil. Okay, so what I have here is I have a stippling brush. This one comes from a Dynasty brush and I have my gesso. This is a silver gesso and then I have my stencil from Crafters Workshop. Same here. I put a little jar in front of my trash can because it is circular and it will roll. And I have one on the other side too. See, look, I just removed it and it rolls. So what it's doing is it's kind of holding it in place. Now there's really no good way of putting the stencil on there. So I'm just gonna kind of use my hands. So with the stenciling brush, I'm gonna lay this on here. This is a nice, good paint and I don't need to put a lot on my brush for this to work. So I'm just gonna come in. So I'm gonna come in and I gotta make sure I don't move this around. Just take a look at that. That's pretty awesome, right? So I went ahead and I've covered the entire section and it's just like this. I need to go wash my stencil now just in case any seeped under, dry it off really well, and then I can get to the next station. And by the time I've cleaned my stencil and so forth, I can move on and do the next panel. And this is probably gonna take three panels, maybe four, before it gets completely done. And I did make a couple of boo-boos because it touched up against something on my craft mat, but it's okay, it's gonna get covered up. So I'm gonna keep on going and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all finished. All right, it's all done, look how pretty. So I have a clear gesso coat that I'm gonna put over top. It's gonna to look a little bit milky at first, but it's gonna dry super clear and it's gonna give it that full finish so that it just got a little bit less chance of getting damaged or whatever. It's got a nice good coat. So I'm just gonna take a big brush again and all I'm gonna do is just paint on. And again, like I said, it's gonna look milky, but it's gonna come out to be clear when it is dry and just put my clear coat on this. Okay, so I've just grabbed a piece of felt and all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna trace it 
and glue that on the bottom of my container now that this is almost dry, but I can do this a little bit right now. And that way it doesn't scrape up my floor and it's a nice soft footing. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. All right, so I've got my circle cut out, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my glue to the bottom side of my container, making sure I coat it really, really well, and then applying my felt and letting it dry overnight. So apply links are down below where you can find all these fun things, and don't forget to keep your giant containers because you can turn them into something fun. Great way to upcycle. So thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that bell button and subscribe to my channel. That way you can get notifications of future videos, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.